Okay, let's try this uh, Vesper theory um, equation or uh, problem. It says, uh, show in detail every step in the formation of the compound um, methyl bromide or um, CH3Br from its elements using Lewis dot structure. So that's part A. Show in detail every step of the formation of CH3Br from its constituent elements using Lewis dot structures. So remember, Lewis dot structures are just uh, the symbol of the element showing its valence electrons, right? Okay, so, and you also remember hydrogen, it's only got, so however many valence electrons you're missing, right, that's how many, like, arms you got, right? So remember our Red Rover analogy, right? So, um, in, in these, let's draw out the Lewis structures of all of these things first, okay? So, um, drawing out the Lewis structure of hydrogen, right, you know that how many electrons does it have? Just the one, right? So it can only grab, it's only got one arm, right? So it can only partner up with one other atom, right? So can it be on the inside of any of your structures? No, okay. So that's cool, so we know it's gonna be on the outside, right? And probably the other two hydrogens are going to be there too. So let's just kind of put those on the outside. What do we know about bromine? Bromine is a halogen, right? And how many electrons is it missing? Just one, right, to form its octet. So it's got one unpaired electron, so it's like hydrogen, right? It's only got one arm to play the Red Rover game with. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then carbon, of course, right, has four valence electrons. So start there one, two, three, four. Keep them unpaired until you get around again. And if you see there, right, carbon, of course, has the four valence electrons that are unpaired, right, and has four arms to play Red Rover with, right? So um, we're just going to show the arrows like that. So this is, that. those were the Lewis uh, structures of the atoms, and now we're going to show when we show two of those fish hook arrows connecting, that makes a bond like that. So, and it's good to keep those lone pair electrons around. So that's the Lewis structure of CH3BL. Okay. So I think you got that one, right? Yeah, I didn't do the first one right there. So, um, I'm going to erase this part here, okay? Because uh, we don't need that for the next part. So the next part it says, draw the structural formula of uh, CH3Br according to Vesper theory, okay? So um, remember, this is kind of showing carbon and all of the atoms kind of as a flat plane, right? So you want to think of them as what they truly are, a sphere, right? So this shows as far away apart you can get from each other if you were flat, right? But since carbon is a sphere, you can go further apart. And remember, the reason they want to be as far apart from each other is because those electrons hate each other, right? Because of the negative charges. So in this case, you're going to have the things being as far apart from each other, remember the wedge and the dash, right? And it doesn't matter where you put these atoms, um, just as long as you don't put two of them on the same block or whatever. And remember that wedge means it's coming towards us, and that uh, hash means that it's going behind us. And these two mean that it's in the plane, okay? So in actuality, if we looked here, that would be like a 90 degree angle. If you think of it as a sphere, the furthest four things can get away from each other on a sphere is 109.5. So, um, oh, that's gonna be one of the questions later, sorry. <laughs> I jumped the gun. Well, it asks, 
how many bonding electrons are around the central atom? So we're, when we're looking for bonding electrons, right, we're going to look for electrons that are contained within a bond, right? So we can look at either one of these structures, and the central atom is only that carbon atom, right? So this carbon atom has how many bonds around it? Four. And a bond has how many electrons in it? Two. So the number of bonding electrons is going to be eight. Okay? Uh, the next question is how many non-bonding electrons? Well, those are like lone pair electrons. You don't see any there, right? So it's going to be zero. Um, if you ask that same question about bromine, let's try that problem since we're on it. Uh, how many bonding electrons would be around that bromine atom? Two, right? Two. So number of bonding electrons would be two. Why? Because there's two hold up in that bond, right? How many non-bonding electrons? Six. Yeah. And that's for the VR, right? And this is for carbon. But this one in particular says around the central atom, so it's talking about the carbon. Uh, indicate the bond angle. We already did that. And give a name to this molecule's geometry. It's got four sides to it, so we call it a uh, tetrahedron or tetrahedral geometry. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. So that was a I think that's a pretty good one. Um, and um, you know, you can build a lot of these simple molecules just by looking at the molecular formula and just thinking them out, you know? So. Okay, cool.